So this is my TID radio, TDH3. It's my take to work radio. It's really sensitive. It picks up the repeater in Onondaga. And I'm all the way in Albion. So I have several repeaters. Both GMRS and amateur radio. Programmed into this little beauty. Along with GMRS, MERS, some simplex frequencies. And it's so small. It can fit right in my pocket or on my belt clip with this FCC approved belt clip. You can set the screen to stay on all the time, which I really like. Because I'm high maintenance. Yeah. So this can be on GMRS. This can be on MURS. This can be on ham radio all at the same time, or you can just set it to just be a ham radio. It'll only transmit on ham frequencies. Or set it to just be a GMRS, and it'll only transmit on GMRS frequencies. But since I use all three, I leave it open. Because I use ham to talk to other anonymous men and friends, I, I use GMRS and MURS to talk with my local family and friends. So we have one in the car, we have a base station in the house, and I have a ton of boof wangs and tid radios and some other ones as well. But I gotta say this is probably my favorite except for the Squelch tail that happens after every thing received. If it wasn't for that, it would be perfect. I'm told I can update the firmware and that'll go away. But my Windows PC is down right now. I need a new hard drive. Once I do that, then I plan to upgrade the firmware. So the TID Radio TDH3, it's my choice for, it's got two PTTs too. One for the top, A band, and one for the bottom, B. But you see it, plus it scans real good. Hear that squelch tail? I mean, I'm sure. It's no problem for some people, but I take this to work. And people don't usually hear when it goes off, but they hear that squirrel's tail. They hear that. That's a, that kind of sucks. So you can get your TDH3 from TID Radio on Amazon for about I remember $30, $35, I think. Great little radio. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.